gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, with the Money in the Bank coming this Sunday, WWE Network, we have the best of the Money in the Bank. This is the 10th Money in the Bank show. Now, the Money in the Bank ladder match has had 21 previous. Started on uh, WrestleMania, and now we have its own show, Money in the Bank. So we're going to start out talking about the briefcase. 21 Money in the Bank briefcases, 19 men's, 2 women's. Out of the men's, 15 of 19 have cashed in to win the World the WWE title. Both women's have been cashed in for championships. Now, the, mo the longest to hold that briefcase, which I like when they hold it for a long time, because it brings up the anticipation. You have the winner coming out once in a while and not cashing in, or coming out and handing a briefcase to the referee before the bell rings, they take it back and leave. You know, that anticipation, when's it going to happen? So the five longest to hold a briefcase, 2015, Seamus held it for 161 days. 2012, Dolph Ziggler held it for 267 days. 2014, into 2015, Seth Rollins held it for 273 days. Edge, 2005, into 2006, held it for 280 days. The longest to hold it was from 2017. Carmella held it 287 days. Mella was money. All right, now the five that just couldn't keep a hold of it. They didn't want it in their possession. They just wanted to get it cashed in and get a title. Uh, number five on that list is going to be 2012 John Cena, eight days. Um, 2010 Jack Swagger won it on Sunday, tried to cash it on Monday, ended up not, and cash in on Tuesday on SmackDown. Uh, number these last three all cash in the same show on the Money in the Bank uh, pay per view. Alexa Bliss 2018 held it for 172 minutes, won it the first part of the show, cash it in like like three matches for the end of it. Dean Ambrose 2016 didn't even hold it in an hour. Cash that bad boy in at 57 minutes. And the shortest ever Money in the Bank holder, 2010, Kane, 49 minutes is all he held it. Um, so now, this year's Money in the Bank. If you check out my Money in the Bank preview, you'll know who my two, one, my two picks to win are. Will either one of them make these lists next year? Is somebody going to hold it longer than Carmella? Are they going to cash it in less than Kane? We don't know yet. My prediction, check out my preview, and you'll see what my predictions and when I think they will cash it in will be. Now, the average days to hold this briefcase is 116. If you look on the calendar, 116 days from, from Sunday, September 12th. September 15th is Hell in the Cell. Is somebody going to cash in on Hell in the Cell? Who knows? Are they going to cash it in? Tonight, who knows? They're gonna wait till Fox for SmackDown is live on Fox or taped on Fox. Who knows? That's in October. All right. So of the cash-ins, the five, my five favorite cash-ins. Number eleven or number sorry, number eleven uh, from 2011, Alberto Del Rio. He cashed in at SummerSlam. CM Punk just got done beating John Cena. Triple H was a special referee. Kevin Nash came in the ring behind the back of the referee after the match, attacked CM Punk. Um, as we know, obviously 2011, July of 11 is when Punk won the uh, title in Chicago, Money in the Bank, left with the title. John Cena became champion. They had an uh, undisputed match between the two of them here at SummerSlam. Del Rio comes out at the end, uh, ends up cashing in on CM Punk. Number four on the list comes from 2009. CM Punk, his second cash in. I was at Extreme Rules. Uh, Jeff Hardy just had a ladder match with Edge. Um, Jeff Hardy winning, his first time winning the world title. He gets cashed in on by CM Punk. Number eight on the list was CM Punk as well from 2008. Punk cashed in on Monday Night Raw on Edge. 
Um, what made this more than the other one to me is Punk ended up wrestling again that night versus JBL for the title and retained it. Um, it was JR coming out and doing his uh, farewell speech on Raw. Um, but, uh, um, Edge re uh, interrupted him with the Edge heads. Edge just cut his heel ass promo. Um, I mean, it's like we don't have heels like this any longer. Edge cutting this heel ass promo saying that, you know, he dra got drafted to SmackDown, that you'll never see him on Raw again. Nobody on Raw will ever go for the world title. You'll never see Undertaker again because I took him out at WrestleMania. Just the heel Edge, the entire crowd booing him. Dave comes out, attacks Edge, leaves. Crowd is cheering that Edge got attacked. Punk comes out and cashes in and wins his first ever world title. The one thing that made 2009 Money in the Bank case run better for me is Punk was uber heel at the end of it. He just turned in the middle of it. Um, number two on the list, um, 2005 Edge, when he cashed in the first ever Money in the Bank after Elimination Chamber at New Year's Revolution on John Cena. And just the way he came out with Vince and was like, with the briefcase to Vince on the ramp, ran down with the referee, cashed in and won. The first time ever we ever seen a cash in. And then obviously number one on the list for me, 2014, Seth freaking Rollins. WrestleMania, the biggest stage of them all, WrestleMania 31, San Jose, California. Just him running down the ramp in the middle of the match and cashing in and end up winning. After the match, at, um, it was Reigns and Lesnar, and then at Mania at a Rumble that year, it was Cena, Lesnar, Reign, Rollins. And that was a fucking four-star match. He thought Rollins was going to win the world title there. And then cashing in here, pinning Roman Reigns to win the world title. Great, great moment there. The best Money in the Bank matches, ladder matches, number 10 came from 2006. I gave it four-star. This is when RVD won it. Number 9 on the list from 2012, when Dolph Ziggler won, also 4-star. Number 8, 2011, when Daniel Bryan won, I also gave that 4-star. 2010, um, I gave that, in the, Miz, the one that Miz won, I gave it 4-star as well. And then I gave the women, number 6 year, 2018, when Alexa Bliss won, so I gave that 4-star as well. Number, in 2007, when Mr. Kennedy won, I gave that 4 and a quarter. 2016, when Dean Ambrose won, I gave it four and a quarter. 2013, when Randy won, I guess it gave it four and a half. Overall, the match was great. Listen to the names in that match. Randy Orton, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Christian, Sheamus, RVD. Um, 2005, um, I gave that four and a half. That's when Edge won. That was Edge, Benoit, Jericho, Shelton, Benjamin, Kane, Christian. And then uh, what I thought was the best Money in the Bank ladder match came from 2014 when Seth freaking Rollins won. I gave it four and a half. It was Seth, Kofi Kingston, Dolph Ziggler, Zack Swagger, RVD, and Dean Ambrose. So that's going to be the best of the Money in the Bank. Um, so make sure you check out Robert Sports Show uh, for the preview for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Um, and see who my two picks are to win the 2019 Money in the Bank letter match. I'm going to uh, hopefully win those my, with my picks. But make sure you stay tuned to Rubber Sports Show for the review of Money in the Bank on Monday. Uh, the preview of AEW's first ever event, Double or Nothing. That preview and review will be coming up. Um, I've got some things planned for the 25th NXT TakeOver. Um, that is two weeks away, June 1st. Make sure you check out all that. And once the New Japan Pro Wrestling Super Junior, Best of the Super Juniors, gets done, I'll have some videos about that. Um, if you've never seen New Japan Pro Wrestling, the Super Junior Tournament is an amazing tournament every year. Um, it highlights the best of the best of the cruiserweights, and or anyone under 200 pounds in New Japan and around the world. We have people from Australia, Rob Eagles is in it. We have El Fantasmo from the um, United Kingdom. We have Bandito, you have Will Ospreay, just some great, great... Um, Lucha Libre style wrestlers there. Their G1 starts in July, which is going to be some great stuff. Um, make sure you check all of that out here on Robert Sports Show. As always, you don't have just a great day. Have a spiffy day, Robert Sports Show. Your 
YouTube, YouTube leader in sports channel content.